Hi there, my name is Dave and in this video I'm going to share with you my techniques and tips on how I achieved this pastel painting of two cute cheetah cups. So let's take a look. The method I'm using to draw the outline is the freehand method. If you want to check out my three ways how to draw the outline video in my channel, I go into quite a lot of detail on how I approach this method. Basically what I'm doing is just using the pencil as a way of measuring. So I'm using the horizontal, vertical, and also measuring uh, the distance and relation to each other uh, but if you want to take a look at that video it goes into detail for the first undercoat I'll be using these sort of pencils basic colors This coat is, or this stage, is really just to get the structure of the subject correct. Not be frightened to move things around. Uh, trying to get a little bit of form in there, but not um, going too heavy with the pastels, keeping it light. Um, just making sure everything feels correct and in the right place before you start laying heavy colour on. Don't be frightened to move things around. That's what this stage is for. Using, uh, really with this sort of coat, uh, you, the color you use really is brown, like a burnt sienna color, and, and blue and white uh, and yellow ochre. That's what I'm using here. So it's basically just basic colors, um, just trying to get the shape. So don't worry about the, if the colors not correct at this stage, it's all about drawing it and getting the feel for where things should be. Here's the, here's the selection of basic pencils I'll be using for the background colour. Um, really what it is, it's green, uh, several greens, uh, a red which is the complementary of green which creates a shadow of green which creates um, the natural shadows uh, for the background and then I use grey which softens it so little tip there if you want something to recede use a little bit of a grey pastel and mixed in with the other colours it seems to do the trick uh, and I'm using the pencils I'm you you can't really see it here but I'm, instead of hatching the pencil on the pastel board I'm using little circles which helps then to blend easier so circles and then use your finger to blend it so you basically that's how I'm doing it now with the second coat so first of all what I do is make sure I get the darks in first so getting real black and real depth the darkest areas in first then it gives you more of an idea of the values of the rest of it and with you having the background there as well that really helps to get the colors correct so I just try and keep a loose approach uh, not too fine details uh, reason being is that the eye fills in the gaps anyway so there's no necessarily need to put every fine detail in there sometimes that just tightens up the whole picture anyway so i try and keep it fresh and alive by keeping it loose and and free flowing always making sure that the pencils are sharp as well keeping them sharp because this is important when you're doing the details. And really a tip is to really keep a 
connection to the whole of the image while you're doing this as well. So what I tend to do is, is just look at the whole picture and I'm just putting little details in, but at the same time, I'm still connecting to the other parts of the image. That way you're creating an energy that, that is connecting right through your work. So it's not just an eye, it's not just a nose. There's all sorts of subtleties going off. And with you having that under drawing, it makes this so much easier than when you put in the colours in the detail. Um, you can just follow, focus just totally on that rather than worrying about is anything drawn correct because you've done all that in the previous stages. So just keep working on several areas at a time, you know, don't get focused on one point. Uh, just keep working on, um, you know, one minute you might be something in the face, next minute it might be one there's something on the legs. It's just, just go where your heart tells you to go. As you, as you do one part, the other part seems to need a bit more work, so you just go with that, you know. So you're working on the whole picture at once, not just on one area. This is where my approach is at the moment, is to keep it really loose, free flowing, connecting to the energy and just let things happen, just let the details um, happen. But they're not fine details. The safest way of sharpening your pencils is to just push your thumb behind the blade and let it flow through and then chafer the pastel to a point. Some pencils won't need to be cut through the wood so just chafer it until it gets to a point where you need to cut through the wood again so just get your thumb behind it and then just push through. I'm using a brown which is like a burnt umber colour, a burnt sienna pencil and for the shadows and subtleties of that I'm using a blue pencil mixed in with it. Now if you, when you put the orange down and if it's too vivid, to calm the orange down use the complementary colour which would be blue. And that goes with any colour really, to calm any colour down, if it's red you, you put green with it, if it's yellow you put a purple to calm that vividness down. If you feel that you're getting value from this video, why not subscribe? It's absolutely free and you're sure not to miss any of my future videos. For the foreground, I'm keeping things more saturated and sharper, deeper colours. Just still blurred around the edges though, so the focal point is on the cubs itself. For the shadow areas I'm using a dark green mixed with red to create a natural shadow. And for the highlights I'm, I'm sort of using really vivid, rich, vibrant pencils. In some areas I'm, I'm putting the white down first and then putting the colour on top which gives it that extra vividness.
If you're interested in knowing what type of materials are used for pastels, uh, please check out the description below. There's a list of materials there for you. If you could leave a comment and like the video, it would really help the channel, uh, it'll give it a boost, would really appreciate it. Um, please let me know if there's any videos you would like me to produce for you as well, I'd really uh, love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, appreciate it.